Hello you guys. Today I'm going to be doing my Lush Holiday 2017 haul videos and uh, a couple of things from the uh, Lush Showcase. I just wanted to say real quick that um, Lush UK and Lush North America have asked me to help them look for uh, any of their customers that were from North America who may have ordered via mail order products, bath products from their company called Cosmetics To Go. So again, Lush UK and Lush North America are looking for any customers of their company Cosmetics To Go, which was a mail order a bath and body cosmetics company that Lush used to be called before they were called Lush. And if you ever ordered from Cosmetics To Go but live in North, lived in North America at the time, that is uh, who uh, Lush is looking for. So if you fit that description, uh, if you can message me or even leave a comment below and then I can hook you up with Lush. And now, uh, let me turn the camera around and then I'll show you uh, what I'm going to talk about today. And, um, I'm going to start with the bath products first, okay? So first, I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, one of my favorite things and that is the Lush Thunder Snow Bath Bomb. Now, I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, take a bath with Thunder Snow a year ago. Um, at last year's Creative Showcase, Thunder Snow was available and a lovely person named Amelia had picked up one for me. And so I did a demo video here on my YouTube channel of Thunder Snow and I'll put the link to that demo here uh, below in the description box. But Thunder Snow is a wonderfully creamy and slightly sweet bath bomb fragrance note of mint almost like a creamy vanilla mint it's not it's not real sweet it's not sweet like um say like snow fairy uh, fragrance kind of sweet it's a very natural scent but yet it's very yummy this one is a slow fizzer and it's named thunder snow because this is a thunder snow is an actual phenomena and what happens is that it actually thunders and lightnings while there's a snowstorm happening in some parts of the world this happens once in a great while and if you for the people who have seen this it's kind of cool and really sort of eerie and ethereal looking uh, outside when this is happening and so that was the impetus for making the thunder snow and when it melts in the tub it actually looks like what happens during the phenomena of thunder snow in the tub. So um, I won't tell you what colors it is. I'll leave that as a surprise for you. But if you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to see what it looks like in the tub, you can. I'll put a link down below in the description box. So that's thunder snow. And in my video, I believe I said this was literally one of the best smelling bath bombs I've ever smelled that Lush has made. So that is saying something about thunder snow, right? It's almost like butterball meets maypole kind of scent. You know, kind of subtle but yummy. That's kind of what Thunder Snow is like. Shooting, shoot for the stars bath bomb. And believe it or not, I don't have one here to show you. How lame is that? But I ordered some. They just haven't got here yet. So I'm kind of bummed that I can't show you. But here's a picture I took of mine. It it's a blue bath bomb made in the honey I wash the kids scent which smells like toffee it's actually made with orange oil and bergamot and it smells just like their honey I wash the kids fragrance their it's raining men shower gel and all all of that uh, 
the, all of those kinds of products. It has gold stars in it that are actually little gold bath melt stars and they emit gold glitter throughout the water. So after this thing stops fizzing and fizzes and dissolves, you're left with this blue, blue, blue water that sparkles it with iridescent gold shimmer all over the place and it smells like toffee. Absolutely wonderful. So that's Shoot for the Stars. I would rate Shoot for the Stars bath bomb a five out of five rating. The next bath bomb for holiday 2017 is this Lush bath bomb and it's adorable. It's called Christmas Sweater. <laughs> And you can see the two little reindeer, the two little white reindeer on there, and it's supposed to look like a Christmas sweater. And the scent on this, oh my God. Oh, it smells like cinnamon and some clove, I think. It's very spicy. And um, I can't wait to demo this one for you here on my YouTube video. So I need to make a video, a demo video of each one of these products. Another bath bomb for holiday 2017. I was really excited to see this return. And that is the never mind the ballistics bath bomb. And I was so glad because I only got two last year, two. And I, could, I was kicking myself because at some point I realized, hey, it was limited edition and they might not bring it back next year, but they brought it back. I was pleasantly surprised. And so I love the smell of this bath bomb. Oh my God. It's very fruity smelling with a creamy edge to it. And it's slightly sweet, but not, you know, I wouldn't call it a sweet bath bomb, but it's fruity and yummy, this one. Then the next Christmas bath bomb we have here is the cute little butter bear. He has a slightly different look this year. He has a little scarf on him this year. And this bath bomb for Christmas is made with their butter ball bath bomb recipe. Lush sells Butterball in all of their stores. And it smells a very creamy, light, yummy chocolate and vanilla fragrance. And it doesn't color the water because it is white. And like I say, you can combine it with anything because like it has no color. And so that's Butter Bear. Mm, it has, it's made with a lang, lang but it does indeed smell like a, sort of like a vanilla chocolate kind of a thing. Another bath bomb this holiday is the Snow Fairy Jelly Bomb. And um, normally there's a star in the middle, but a little bit of the star came off. It has the Snow Fairy Shower Gel Fragrance. It reminds me of candy, like, like vanilla candy. It's very, very sweet and very, very, very strongly scented. And this is a jelly bomb. I have a demo I did of, of this Snow Fairy Jelly Bomb here on my YouTube channel, and I'll leave the description to that below in the description box. And it's a slime bomb. It makes pink slime jelly on top of the water. It's a slow fizzer. Then there is this new bath bomb for holiday 2017 from Lush, and this one is called Sherbet Dip. And it's a different shape for a Lush bath bomb. And this one, this one has a lovely fragrance. This one also has, this one has a scent that is somewhat familiar to me. And this smells like something that is sort of new, but I can't place it. And it smells to me like lemon sherbet candies. And so the next product is called Christmas Cracker and this one is a bubble bar and it's so gorgeous and it looks like those New Year's party favors that you pull and it snaps. Oh, now this one is lemony. This one smells 
more to me like the Cheer Up Buttercup scent. Oh my gosh, it's very fruity, very citrusy, very, very strong. And this one is more mm, citrus forward and not so sweet. Where is this one? This one is more sort of fresh and it's less, less intense citrus than this one. Bath bombs I don't have are Golden Wonder, which has a fizzy grapefruit soda fragrance like Bubbly and like Buck's Fizz. Very pretty bath bomb. The Christmas Eve Bubble Bar, which has the same fragrance as last year's Northern Lights Bath Bomb and Santa Fun Bar. I have not used the Cracker Snap uh, bubble bar, so I'm going to be doing a demo of this one here in the next couple of days for you, and I'll upload that here on my YouTube channel and make an entry of it in my blog. So next bath product we have is called um, Snowman Bubble Room. <laughs> so adorable. He looks like a snowman. This is a bubble bar. And uh, just like uh, some of their other bubble rune type bubble bars, and then in the middle it has sort of a cocoa butter mixture that sticks them both together. And I believe it has sparkles, uh, but it's possible that it got sparkles from some of the other things in the box, but I'll be able to tell uh, for sure when I do the demo and review of this in the tub. And this one has a lovely scent. This one has a lovely sort of citrus, sort of creamy citrus uh, fragrance. Seems, this one is kind of somewhat mild and it's citrusy and creamy and slightly sweet. And I'll be doing a demo, a tub demo and review video of this one here in the next couple of days as well for you guys. And then, Another bath product, I was really looking forward to this um, pretty much almost the most out of all the things this Christmas when I found out about it. This is called the Plum Snow Bubble Bar. And this one was made in the Plum Rain shower gel fragrance. Now, those of you who have seen my Plum Rain shower gel demo know that I love, I'm crazy about Plum Rain. The fragrance of this Plum Snow Bubble Bar and the fragrance of Plum Rain is a wonderful, luscious, sort of fruity fragrance. And it's made with orange oil and pettigrain and I believe there is some osmanthus in there too, but I could be wrong, and some umeboshi plums. Umeboshi plums are very tart. Now this smells very fruity, and but in more of a berryish way, or more of a sort of a plum, uh, plum way, um, you know, so it's not a citrusy fruity. It smells different, much different than, say, other berryish type of scents like the Comforter. It's not like that. It's like Plum Rain if you've ever smelled it. So it's a, it's very bright. It's very bold and fruity and fresh, and it also has this subtle, subtle sort of greenery note to it, like, like leaves or something. Very subtle. But most of it is this fruity awesomeness. And so I was really looking forward to this one. I have the body spray and plum rain. I have the shower gel. And so I can't wait to have a sort of a plum rain bath. And so naturally I would like this because it's purple and it makes purple water, dark purple water. And it has a cute uh, white snowflake in the middle. And so uh, it's extra large and so I'm just gonna use half when I use it in the bath to demo for you guys. So that's plum snow. This bath bomb is called Luxury Lush Put and Lush has this returning every year. This is made in the Twilight fragrance so again it's like sweet creamy vanilla and lavender and it has pink glittery water which is gorgeous and I have a demo video of this, and I'll put a link below so you can see that. So that's called Luxury Lush Pud. It's a gorgeous pink color. 
smells just like Twilight. Here is Bewitched Bubble Bar. And Lush has made this one with their now discontinued Blackberry Bomb scent. The Blackberry Bomb scent is made with bergamot and frankincense. I love it and it makes black water, black ultra iridescent rainbow colored sparkly water. It's awesome. I uploaded a demo and a demo and review video of this one. It's about four minutes long here on my YouTube channel. What I'm really looking forward to, of course, is I'm looking forward to having a Blackberry Bomb slash Sultana um, bath combo. And so it's a kind of a scent family bath cocktail. So I'm going to be having a Blackberry Bomb with a uh, Bewitched Bubble Bar, and so one would imagine that I would get some very dark purple sparkly water. And I'll put a link in the description box too. So that's Bewitched Bubble Bar. And I got, I got two of those. So cute. And then the next bath product is the Halloween pink pumpkin and it's a pink sparkly pumpkin now every halloween well not every halloween but the past three or four halloweens lush has made a halloween bubble bar every year called sparkly pumpkin and sparkly pumpkin is it looks just like this except it's orange like a pumpkin so this year it was, I was kind of tickled to see that Lush has made a pink sparkly pumpkin in addition to the uh, orange sparkly pumpkin. They have different scents. Uh, this pink one has, unfortunately for me, <laughs> a different scent and it has lots of jasmine flower uh, notes in it. I think this smells similar to the Lust perfume that they sell in their stores. And Lush has made a couple of different products in this fragrance in the past few years. So those of you who like the Lust fragrance that they sell, the Lush, perf uh, excuse me, the Lush Lust perfume that they sell in all of their stores and online, then you would probably like this. If you like uh, other Lush products like Flying Fox shower gel or the uh, the limited edition Fox bath bomb or like Godiva shampoo, there's a, there's a few more. Then you will like the scent of this because it's uh, very, 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 very similar, if not exact. So I would imagine that the water for this is going to be sparkly and pink. And I'm telling you, I'm really looking forward to this because as some of you know, one of the products that I have been missing that the Lush Kitchen has not made is called Flosty Gritter. And it looked uh, similar to this, actually. It was pink and sparkly with pink sparkles on it, but uh, that had the scent of the American Cream scent. Anyway, I'm probably confusing everybody, but this is the pink sparkly pumpkin. It has the Lust fragrance, a very, very jasmine forward. And so, very floral, very strong. I'll be doing a demo of this as well here on my YouTube channel and then the next couple of days. I had to switch headphones because the other ones I had broke and you couldn't hear me. So hopefully you can hear me now. To continue with the bubble bars for Christmas, we've got the Magic Wand, the uh, Snow Fairy Magic Wand, and it's a gorgeous reusable bubble bar on a stick scented with the lovely snow fairy scent just like the snow fairy shower gel so it smells like very sweet vanilla it's got uh, silver sparkles in it and it makes a lovely pink water with silver sparkle in it that smells just like snow fairy and this is reusable so you can use it more than once and you just store it in your soap dish if you like between uses and I've gotten two or three baths out of one so that's the snow fairy magic wand 
and it has a little silver bell on there. And then another reusable bubble bar this Christmas is called The Magic of Christmas. And it's a gorgeous orange with gold sparkles uh, reusable bubble bar on a stick. And this one has an orange and this one has more of a sort of a spicy orange scent with some clove and some a star anise seed in the middle. And you hold this under the water stream and let the water fall on this in the tub and it makes bubbles below. You can use this more than once as well. And then we have the man in the moon bubble bar. <laughs> and this is made with neroli, lime, and frankincense. And it smells similar to Kalakas. And a lovely person on Instagram, her name is Lushies of the Forest. Um, she corrected us and it's not Kalakas that this is made out of. Uh, she stated this is made from the, uh, made in the same fragrance as the man in the mushroom face mask that they sell at Oxford Street. And um, although it does smell very similar to Kalakas as well. And both uh, Kalakas and the man in the mushroom and the man in the moon have a neroli, lime, and frankincense blend. It smells like a sort of like a perfumey citrus, like a perfumey lime. Really nice. It's kind of pretty. And then here is a, it's, it's a bath bomb slash bath melt. And this is made in the snow cake fragrance. And this is called Snow Angel. And in the back, it has a ton of gold sparkle in it. And in the front, it has looks like an angel like a snow angel and this one is made in the snow cake fragrance so it matches the saucy snow cake soap scent these two have the same rose and cassie blend and the same scent and you just place this in an already filled tub I have a demo of this I can leave the uh, link to that below I love this one it's so pretty. This is a very slow fizzer and it's glittery and gorgeous. It doesn't color the water, but oh my, it's so gorgeous. And then we have our Christmas bath melt. This year is something different and new. This one is called Tree D. Now some people, some people call it treed because it's spelled T-R-E-E -E space D. So some pronounce it treed. I pronounce it tree D because it's a 3D bath melt. Um, it comes apart and tree D is a gorgeous Christmas tree shape and how many times can I say gorgeous in this video? <laughs> and it's got little red kind of ornaments there, and those are red peppercorns. And this shares the same scent with the ectoplasm bath bomb. So there's grapefruit and tangerine and litsia, which is an herb that is sort of lemony smelling. And again, this is a bath melt, so you place this, you, um, usually you, you can place this in an already filled tub and then the, the heat from the water will melt this cocoa butter and it, it'll disperse all throughout the water. It'll color the water a real pretty green color and the cocoa butter and all the other goodies in there will make your skin really soft and smell really nice. So that's tree D. And the second bath melt we have for Christmas is called Starlight, Star Bright, and it's a silver glittery bath melt. So now I'm going to uh, show you the soaps for Christmas. I have all of the Christmas Lush soaps with the exception of two. And the two would be Magic Wand and Baked Alaska. I don't have those two with me. I do have them, I just can't find them. And so I'll just describe those two without showing them. So the first Christmas soap that we have here is called Shooting Star. So this one was made with star fruit, one of the 
if one of the very few, if not the only product that Lush has ever made with star fruit. And it has, the big soap has gorgeous colors, yellow and blue and purple. This is a big old piece, of purple piece I got. It smells so good. It smells fruity and it smells citrusy, but there's also this lovely star fruit smell. So it's a different kind of citrus, which is nice. So that's shooting stars. I would rate shooting stars a four out of five rating. And then we have citrus Christmas. Citrus Christmas soap is a lime and lemon soap. So it smells very, it smells very limey. It smells very much of limes and it's just like you'd think it would smell. So it's nice. Citrus Christmas. And then here we have the soap is called Hidden Mountain. And it looks like there's a mountain hidden in the middle of the soap when they slice it. And this one has a nice green sort of woodsy, foresty scent. This one was made with hoe wood and um, oak moss. And oh, it smells so good. Mm. It smells earthy. If you like the scent of some lush things like um, like Super Tramp or like Tramp Shower Gel or any of those, then you would probably like Hidden Mountain Soap. And I also think that guys would like Hidden Mountain Soap as well. So it's a nice foresty green scent. And then the next soap here is the Saucy Snow Cake Soap. Every year, Lush makes their snow cake soap. They've been doing this for 15 or 20 years. Every year, their snow cake soap looks a little bit different. Last year, if you recall, they had a sandcastle shape to their snow cake soap yeah, with some white glitter covering it. This year, saucy snow cake, and it looks like a yummy kind of dessert or English pudding. This one was made with the same rose and cassie blend, but the top of it also has cranberries and walnuts in it. And uh, mm, it smells light and fresh and creamy and lightly floral, just like snow or something Christmassy to eat. So that's saucy snow cake. And then, um, now, Baked Alaska. Baked Alaska, I don't have a piece with me, but here's a picture of it. Baked Alaska is the most citrusy soap uh, of the bunch this Christmas. It's made with grapefruit and lime and lemon, and it is the citrus soap. It is very, very citrusy. So those of you who want a citrus, who like your citrus, uh, things, then you'd want to get baked Alaska soap. Also, not here is the magic wand soap, and here's what that looks like. And magic wand is kind of a dark black green on the outside and kind of a pinkish orange on the inside, just like a magic wand. And and it has a very sweet candy-ish tangerine scent. It's actually made with the same ingredients as their past Christmas soap called Angel's Delight. And so that is magic wand. So if you like really sweet kind of candied orange kind of scents, then you'd like magic wand. So this one is called Hedge Witch. Hedge Witch. And this one has cranberries in it and it has berries in it and it smells of the Plum Rain fragrance. Lush makes a popular shower gel called Plum Rain and they also make a, uh, a body spray of it and this soap was made in that same Plum Rain fragrance. So it's got umeboshi plums, it's got orange oil and osmanthus and pettigrain and berries and it smells wonderful. It smells fruity but not in a citrusy way, in a berry kind of a way. It's a gorgeous multicolored green, red, and orange soap. And this is so nice. And then, King Horse Christmas Rocker Soap. 
And this one was made with orange and tangerine. So it smells very orangey and it's cuter than anything. Little rocking horse shape. And then we have a gorgeous soap this Christmas called Golden Pear. Look at that. And it looks just like a pear. And it's got some muru muru butter sandwiched in the middle there. It's kind of like cocoa butter. Very moisturizing, the soap. And this was made with pear puree and other things like cardamom oil and sandalwood and agave syrup. So, and it does smell like a pear. It has a gorgeous sort of gentle pear scent. You can smell the cardamom in it and the agave syrup. It just smells lightly warm and sweet and fresh. Who doesn't want a pear from a pear tree for Christmas? And this will look gorgeous at this guest in the guest bathroom at the sink there. So that's golden pear. I can't wait to demo this one for you. And then winning for my favorite soap this Christmas is Snow Cloud. Snow Cloud Soap. It's a pale blue looking in the shape of a cloud. And oh God, I love, love this fragrance. Now this is orange flower, orange blossom and neroli. And it's got a floral smell from the orange blossom and sort of a citrusy floral smell from the neroli. And it just smells so gorgeous. So some of the things that Lush makes currently that are similar uh, in scent to this include the orange blossom bath oil, uh, the love and light uh, hand lotion, and the flowering tea bubble bar also smells like this. And there are a couple other uh, products that Lush makes uh, with the same scent. It's sort of along the lines of Frozen, except it doesn't have rose like Frozen does. But it does have that sort of neroli orange blossom scent. So it's floral and perfumey. I love this. It's so gorgeous. And this one is the strongest scented soap, uh, in my opinion, this Christmas. And it leaves a gorgeous floral fragrance on the skin. And of course the soap, and of course this soap is called Snow Fairy Soap. <laughs> and this is a cold pressed soap. Lush makes three cold pressed soaps. They're made differently than the regular soaps. And they're very dense, very dense. And thus they last an extraordinarily long amount of time. They last an ultra long amount of time. This one is pink and has loads of sparkles and it has a little fairy wand in there just like all of the snow fairy things do and so that's snow fairy soap cold pressed soap and so those are the soaps okay so now I'm going to uh, go through all of the Christmas 2017 shower gels and so Lush has two or three shower gels that they like to bring out for Christmas. So they're uh, pretty consistent. Uh, these are popular yearly returning uh, limited edition shower gels. And the first one, the first one is called Bubbly. And this is a nice citrusy shower gel. And it smells like grapefruit. It smells like fizzy grapefruit soda. In the UK, they have something called Buck's Fizz, and it's sort of like a grapefruit, orangey kind of a soda, and that's what they made this to uh, be like. It has the same lime, orange oil fragrance. Now, usually Lush puts cognac in with the orange and lime to make champagne snow showers celebrate bubbly, but they are not using cognac anymore, so they're using grape juice and also vine leaf infusion. So it has that champagne snow showers, celebrates scent, but a little bit different uh, 
It's the difference between the cognac and the grape juice. It smells kind of refreshing and citrusy. So that's sure. bubbly. Here is Snow Fairy Shower Gel. This is a really popular shower gel for Christmas. And it's very pink and it's got lots of sparkle in here. This one is made, it's made with synthetic musk and vanilla. It's suitable for vegans. It's very, very, very sweet. So that's Snow Fairy. And then the next classic Christmas shower gel is Rose Jam, of course. And Rose Jam is a very popular fragrance. Lush makes a lot of things in the Rose Jam fragrance and it all started with Rose Argan body conditioner and the Rose Bubble Room. This is made with a geranium, lemon, and goji berry juice, vanilla pod, and cypress, goji berry, and lots of rose oil. So that's Rose Jam and it's a sweet sort of candyish rose scent. I love it <laughs> and I would give Rose Jam a 5 out of 5 rating and I also have the naked or solid Rose Jam shower gel here as well this Christmas Lush has made all of the shower gels and body conditioners and lotions in a naked no packaging version and I I've demoed uh, the Berry Christmas Naked Shower Gel, and I'll also do a demo individually of the Rose Jam Shower Gel as well. And so that is Rose Jam, and this has the same lovely fragrance. Same fragrance, it's just really nice. And for those of you who were asking me, <laughs> um, I did wash my hair with Rose Jam, this Naked Shower Gel, night before last, and uh, it was awesome and I still though I still had to wear I still had to uh, put a hair conditioner in my hair because I mean look at my hair right it has like its own mind <laughs> so I do need conditioner however I can certainly see how those of you that have a shorter hair can totally use this as a shampoo and wouldn't have to use conditioner because it is a bit more moisturizing than the regular bottled version. So that's Rose Jam Naked. Then Lush has introduced two new Christmas shower gels this year and they are called Berry Berry Christmas and Santa's Christmas. And I've done a demo of Berry Berry Christmas and I'll put the link to that demo below. Berry Berry Christmas is made with blueberries. It's made with cranberry infusion and blueberry juice. This also has orange oil and bergamot and olive leaf infusion. It's a gorgeous color of teal and it's a sparkly shower gel. And uh, I love the shower gel. It kind of reminds me a little bit of plum rain but it's a little different but it's along the lines of that same sweet berryish scent it's not like the comforter um, that's even more sweet this is isn't as sweet as the comforter but it's a uh, it's very delicious and uh, I love it so if you if you enjoy the hedge witch soap it's kind of along the same lines. It's got orange oil in it as well, and it's got that sort of berry fruitiness. So it's a little different, but it is kind of similar as well. So it's Berry Berry Christmas. It's a very thick shower gel. Now, notice that all of these have been shower gels that I've shown you. However, this next one is a shower cream. And all that means is that there's extra cocoa butter or other moisturizing properties in this shower gel as opposed to the others, and that's why they call it a shower cream. And this is a very thick shower gel, and it's gorgeous. I would give Berry Berry Christmas a 5 out of 5 rating. And then we have Santa's Christmas shower cream. 
and I love this shower cream. Oh my God. Now notice these are two new Christmas shower gels, neither one of which are citrus. Yay. And so Santa's Christmas smells to me like cola, like the way cola would smell if you smelled a Coke. It's a very thick and rich red shower cream, moisturizing. It says, when Father Christmas is finished whizzing around the world in his sleigh, he needs a pick-me-up. This has fair, this has cocoa butter, almond oil, coffee infusion, cinnamon, lime, aniseed, black pepper, benzoin, lime juice, and orange juice. This is suitable for vegans and it's self-preserving. And for those of you who remember the fun bar last Christmas called Reindeer and Robin, and also Lush makes a lip scrub for Christmas called Santa's Lip Scrub. They've made that this year and last year as well. And then also at the third product is called Boom Toothy Tabs. They're the black ones. Now the Lip Scrub, the Boom Toothy Tabs, and the Reindeer and Robin Fun Bar and this Santa's Christmas all have the same cola fragrance and are all made with the same ingredients. And uh, I just love, I love this. I just love it. It's gorgeous to shower with because it's so creamy and nice and it looks great. It's very thick and creamy and um, I would rate Santa's Christmas a five out of five rating. I also have the naked version of Santa's Christmas shower cream. I will do a video of both of these on a separate video, just like I did the Berry Berry uh, naked and regular shower gels. Here's the naked version of the Berry Berry Christmas shower gel. And then Lush has also made this Christmas their Christmas Twilight shower gel. Now originally Twilight was made for Halloween, but um, I guess it's for Christmas now. And so, so Twilight is made with lavender and Tonka bean, so it's got this sort of gorgeous, comforting, sweet, creamy, herby, lavender scent. So I have both the liquid and the naked version of Twilight, and, and this smells exactly like Twilight. It smells very fragrant and lovely. So that's Twilight Naked. I would rate the Twilight uh, Shower Gel a 5 out of 5 as well. This is a Naked Plum Rain Shower Gel. Mm. And I got this off of the Lush Kitchen site a couple weeks ago. Mm. So it has that lovely sort of berryish fragrance. All right, so those are the shower gels for this Christmas 2017. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of other naked products. This one is a body conditioner. It's a naked body conditioner and this one is called Bucks Fizz. Some of you are familiar with the lush body conditioners that are in the black pot like Rose Argan, African Paradise, Snow Fairy, etc. Well this is the naked version, the containerless version. So there's absolutely zero waste with this product and it's very conditioning. It's made with the same things that the liquid uh, potted version is made out of. So it's got orange oil and lime oil and cocoa butter and lots of gorgeous butters in here. And so this is to be used after you uh, soap up and rinse off. It's like a conditioner, but for the body. And you just rub it wherever you want to in the shower and, uh, and then rinse it off with warm water and you're done. And your skin will be more moisturized and it has that lovely Bucks Fizz fragrance. So if you like this, you will probably like this because they have the similar fragrance. Mm. So that's Bucks Fizz body conditioner. I would rate the Naked Body Conditioner a 3 out of 5 rating. I prefer the potted version of this because it's just easier to store. 
but uh, you can certainly store this in just a regular soap dish. All right, so that's Buck's Fizz. This Christmas, Lush has satisfied our So White craving. <laughs> they didn't make So White shower gel this Christmas, and they didn't make the So White bath bomb this Christmas either. But they did make a couple of other Snow White uh, scented products, for instance. There's a new body lotion this Christmas. So Lush has made this year a body lotion, and this is called Once Upon a Time. They make the regular Black Pot Once Upon a Time and the new Naked version of Once Upon a Time. This is the Naked Body Lotion. And this was made in the So White scent, so it smells like a crisp apple. And this, um, this one smells absolutely gorgeous. And it's got more of a sort of oilier texture than the potted lotion for whatever reason. So, but I like the scent very much and uh, it's just yummy. Mm, so if you like the So White shower gel or the So White bath bomb uh, from Christmas's past, you'll definitely like Once Upon a Time. And Lush has made a shower jelly this Christmas called Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. And it's a red jelly with stars in it. And it was made in the So White fragrance also. So this year we have a couple of things, the Santa's Belly Jelly and the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion, both in the So White's fragrance. We also have this Christmas a couple of body conditioners. Like I say, we have the Bucks Fizz body conditioner. We also have the Snow Fairy body conditioner in both the black potted version and the naked version. The naked version of Snow Fairy body conditioner looks just like this, except it's pink. And it works the same way. You use it after you soap up and rinse off. You just slather it on in the shower, leave it on, rub it around, and then rinse it off and your skin is moisturized and smells lovely like sweet vanilla, like Snow Fairy. And so we have three body conditioners uh, this Christmas. We have the Chris Dingle Minty, Minty, and Menthol body conditioner with the gorgeous blue color. And then we have the Snow Fairy body conditioner, the very sweet vanilla um, pink body conditioner in the Snow Fairy scent. And then the Fox Fizz body conditioner, that was a grapefruit soda scent. We have a couple of body scrubs this year. We have the Minty Peppermint Candy Cane Roulade and in its own packaging here. And then and another minty body scrub that you use in the shower after you soap up and rinse off. And this is made with sugar and cocoa butter and it smells minty and lovely. This Christmas we also have two shower jellies. We have Snowman shower jelly and Santa's belly shower jelly as I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the Once Upon a Time body lotion. So we have Santa's belly and it's a gorgeous cranberry red jelly with some silver stars in it and this has the same scent as so white and then the other shower jelly shower jellies being an alternative to soap the other shower jelly this Christmas is called snowman shower jelly snowman and it's a white shower jelly. Now this one is in the shape of a snowman when you plop it out the whole thing. It's in a cute snowman shape. This one has a lovely fragrance. It's a fruity floral fragrance. For those of you who remember the Lush uh, soap for Easter and the Lush bubble bar for Easter called the Carrot, and, and bunch of carrots. They look like carrots and, and they're a bubble bar, reusable bubble bar. Well, that fragrance, that lovely Bushu oil fragrance that we love, well, Snowman 
uh, jelly is a scent twin of that. Very unexpected scent than you would think that something called snowman smells like. So it's actually a pretty scent. So that's snowman jelly. So we have one sort of, we have one uh, crisp apple jelly and one that's sort of more of a sweet uh, bushu oil and carrot floral. Lush always has fun bars uh, that are limited edition available for the holidays. And this year they have the Snow Fairy fun bar. And I have a video or three uh, <laughs> where I demo and uh, review some fun bars and show you different ways to uh, use a fun bar. And so that's Snow Fairy. It's a multi-purpose bar. You can use it as a soap. Uh, it comes in three sections. You can give it to kids. Uh, they can make shapes with it like Play-Doh in the bath. You can use it as a shampoo. You can use it as a bubble bath. And so that Snow Fairy Fun Bar. And then I think two of the most uh, looked forward to products with myself and with a lot of you were the new sparkle jars of this holiday that Lush introduced along with all of their other naked products. This is a naked product in that it's a powder shaker, a dusting powder shaker, but the, the container isn't a uh, plastic uh, container like usual. It's actually made out of a massage bar. The container is made out of massage bar ingredients and the inside of it is glittery dusting powder. This star-shaped pink one is Snow Fairy scented. So it's got a very, very, very sweet vanilla fruity fragrance. And inside we have a dusting powder. Last year, as you recall, Lush had their fairy dust uh, dusting powder. Well, that's what is inside this massage bar powder shaker. And you see these two holes here in the top and then the two smaller holes within well, you just take a straight pin and poke through those smaller holes and that becomes, uh, those become the holes that the powder shakes out from. And you can open it, but it's really not uh, necessary to open. You'd have to do some prying uh, as it's not particularly meant to be opened. Um, after the powder is gone, you can certainly use this whole thing is a massage bar it, as it has a lot of cocoa butter which melts upon contact with your skin so just know that when you're holding it it's not like an oily greasy mess at all but uh, you know you will have like some some cocoa butter and some sparkle and stuff on it it's it's really nice for those of you that like snow fairy oh my gosh I did a demo of this here on my YouTube channel and I'll leave a link below so you can see how this works close up and everything and see what the powder looks like. And then along with the Snow Fairy Sparkle Jar, Lush introduced the Twilight Sparkle Jar. And you guessed it, it's made in the Twilight Bath Bomb and Twilight Shower Gel fragrance of lavender and tonka bean, which is very much similar to vanilla. So it's a creamy, sweet, comforting lavender herbal blend. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a massage bar made out of the Twilight fragrance ingredients and cocoa butter. And it's got, it's got Mr. Sandman dusting powder inside. Last year, Lush sold a Mr. Sandman dusting powder for Christmas, which was a Twilight scented um, sparkly dusting powder and that is what's inside this Twilight sparkle jar and again you just poke two holes there and that becomes the shaker and I'll do a demo of this individual here on my YouTube channel so I can put that entry into my Lush Encyclopedia blog and then we're coming down the home stretch here we have a lot of lip products 
this Christmas. We've got Returning, the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub and Lip Tint. And we've got the Returning Santa's Lip Scrub and Lip Tint. And this year, Lush has made these in both the jarred and the naked versions. And I will show you what the naked versions uh, look like. Now, I did buy the naked versions of both of these. However, they haven't, uh, they haven't come here yet. So I will show you the naked versions of the Black Rose lip scrub so you can see what these will look like. And then, so in, in addition to Sugar Plum Fairy and Santa's lips, lip uh, products returning, Lush has introduced a new lip product, this limited edition this Christmas called Black Rose. And I will show you uh, the Black Rose. I did a demo of the Black Rose scrub, the Black Rose lip color, and the Black Rose lip balm here on my lip here on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link below. So to those. the Santa's lip scrub is a cola scented lip scrub that is red and it's made with black pepper and star anise um, oil and which star anise has sort of a sort of a, a like a spicy element to it. Not, I was gonna say like licorice. This has extract of cherries and dates in it as well. And this has lime oil and coconut oil in it as well. And the scrub doesn't, uh, doesn't really make your lips red, although it is a red color. And the Lush lip scrubs are edible if you happen to get some in your mouth by accident, as it's made with sugar and other natural food grade things. So that's Santa's lip scrub. And again, Santa's lip scrub is the fragrance of their Christmas Santa's Christmas shower gel. And the same fragrance as their last year's Reindeer and Robin Fun Bar and their Boom Two Feet Halves. Now there is a Santa's lip scrub and a Santa's lip tint as well in the uh, in the tube and this year there's a naked Santa's lip scrub and a naked Santa's uh, lip tint as well both red and then also we have Sugar Plum Fairy lip products returning again this Christmas and uh, this is my favorite and it look it smells like the comforter it smells very luscious and sweet and it's not too sweet it's not too anything none of these lip balms are like too anything or like weird or off they're just absolutely yummy and so this one is sugar plum fairy and you can see why it's my favorite because it's the purple one <laughs> and this also comes in the lip tint uh, balm tube as well as the lip scrub and again, this year, Lush has made a naked version of the Sugar Plum Fairy lip scrub, which I don't have with me. It hasn't come yet. And they've made a naked version of their Sugar Plum Fairy lip tint, which is this one. And it's made with the same sort of yummy things that the Sugar Plum Fairy in the jar and the other lip tint is. So I'm going to do a demo video of this individually for you. And here is the Black Rose version of the lip color, Black Rose. And here is the Black Rose lip tint. And I've done a demo video of these two and it's black but you can see what color it is in the demo and then there's also a black rose lip scrub and see the difference between the lip color and the lip scrub the black rose lip scrub does not uh, leave any staining or color on your hands but the lip color will. 
uh, if you hold it, the uh, naked version. And the naked sugar plum fairy lip scrub will look like the black rose lip scrub here, except it'll be this purple color. Okay. And the Santa's naked lip scrub will look like this too, except it will be red. Okay. And like I say, I have those coming, so I'll review and demo those so I can put those into the entry into my Lush Encyclopedia. And so those are the lip products. Now, all three of those have a scrub, a lip tint, and a lip color. Now, I don't know if those are some of you are familiar with the Lush wash cards, right? I've demoed the wash cards uh, here before. And this year, Lush's wash card, uh, these are Butter Bear wash cards. And if you recall earlier, uh, I had shown you all the bath bombs for Christmas and Butter Bear is one of the bath bombs for Christmas. Butter Bear has the Butter Ball bath bomb scent. It's actually a lang, -a -lang and it smells sort of, sort of buttery or milky. It's slightly sweet. It smells almost like, like, a, like, van like a vanilla and chocolate kind of a shake or something kind of chocolatey and so that's a butter bear wash card and this is an alternative to soap and these are good uh, quote unquote naked products as well because there's absolutely no waste this entire thing is the product and it lathers up and it's got all kinds all the regular kind of goodies that Lush usually puts in their bath products right in here as well and so that's butter bear here are some more wash cards that Lush is selling of late on their uh, website. And these wash cards, if you'll notice, are all named after various Lush Gorilla perfumes. For instance, we have the Dirty Fragrance wash card. Mm. So it has that wonderful um, minty herbally kind of fragrance. Mm, I love it. And the uh, colors are corresponding to the fragrances. So just like the dirty shower gel is this color and they sell dirty uh, shower gel in all the stores and as a regular item. And then this one is Smuggler's Soul and this has the uh, men's fragrance Smuggler's Soul fragrance in in it infused into it and which uh, contains loads and loads of sandalwood it's kind of the basis for this fragrance is sandalwood it smells really nice so that one's very woody smelling and then we have karma karma is their signature orange pine and patchouli fragrance it smells like kind of a hippie-ish kind of earthy kind of incensey so that's Karma. This wash card is called What Would Love Do? And What Would Love Do is a new Lush Gorilla Series 4 perfume. And so this has that same wonderful fragrance. So those of you who have tried this new perfume, well now there's a wash card. And what I like about the wash cards is it's a fun, sort of non-wasteful way to try a new perfume without uh, spending, uh, you know, a, a large amount on the large bottle of perfume. So you can kind of see how well you really like the fragrance and then if you really like it, then you can uh, buy the perfume. So that's what I like about these. And I usually use these as soap uh, at the sink in my soap dish and usually I'll tear it in half and you know usually one of these will last like a week eventually they kind of rip apart when they get smaller and so it's harder to wash with them but they will suds up even when they're little tiny piece like this but 
it's harder to control, you know what I'm saying, when they're little tiny pieces, but, so. And they don't cost much at all. They're only a couple of dollars. So that's what we'd love to do. And then this one here is Seacom Girls. Seacom Girls is uh, actually uh, one of their Gorilla 3. Or actually, Seacom Girls is one of their Gorilla 2 series perfumes. It's got lots of frangipani and tuberose in there. This one is Sun. And Sun is also a Lush Gorilla Series 2 fragrance. It's one of my favorite fragrances because it's made with tangerine and orange and mandarins. And that's the Sun fragrance. Naturally, it's yellow. And then we have Amelie May. And that's a new Lush Gorilla Series 4 perfume that was made for... Actually, it's a granddaughter of one of the co-creators of Lush. And this one has a rose and raspberry and lavender fragrance. So it's a rose fragrance, but it's not an old lady kind of a rose. Like I say, it smells almost like a raspberry lollipop with a little bit of rose and lavender herbalness in it. So that's Amelie May. So that's a good way to try and see if you like the new perfume. Next one is Vanillary, and that is a current in-store Lush perfume. Actually, this is pre-Gorilla perfumes. This is a just regular Lush perfume. This one has a kind of a foodie, foodie vanillary kind of a scent. It smells like vanilla custard. This one is made with vanilla, and this one is made with tonka beans. That's vanillary, and they sell that in the liquid and solid form in all of the stores. And then this one is called All Good Things. And All Good Things is a Gorilla Series 3 perfume. I have, I have a, a demo and review of All Good Things here on my YouTube channel. And... So, but you get the general idea, right? So they have some for all of the new fragrances and all of the existing fragrances. So uh, they'll, what I don't show here is uh, Lust. They have a wash card for Lust. They have a wash card for Rentless and, 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 and all, the, all the Gorilla series uh, for perfumes and stuff like that. So, and then... We have this beauty. So this one is called Shades of Gold, Frankincense, and Myrrh. So basically what we have here is uh, three different shades of gold. We have sort of a more bronzy gold up here, a more sort of uh, white gold up here, and sort of a more uh, golden yellow gold down here. And this is lip color for the holidays. It's very sparkly and gold lip there, kind of fun. And uh, it's applied in the same way that the other three of their solid lip color blocks are. They have three of these that I've demoed. I can put the links to those below if you like, uh, so you can see how these are applied. And this one, uh, so that's shades of gold, frankincense, and myrrh lip color. So I have a couple of products uh, from the Lush Creative Showcase, but I'm going to do a separate video of just those products because if I include those products here, this is going to be the longest video anyone's ever heard of in their life. <laughs> and so I don't want to do that to you guys. So those are my Lush Holiday 2017 products. And so if you have any questions about any of these products, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can or point you in the right direction where you can get an answer. What are your favorite Lush holiday items this year? What are you looking forward to the most? And if you've tried any of them, which one do you like the most? Let me know, I'm dying to know. Let me know down below. And again, I'll leave the links below in the description box to those products that I mentioned and showed here today uh, that I have demoed already. 
And as I make a video demo and review for each one of these products, I'll be able to add all of those links below in the description box as well. And of course, all these products are going to have uh, my photos associated with them and bath cocktails and whatnot on my blog. And so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell down below. And that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new Lush video, which I do upload a new Lush video anywhere from one to five times every week. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.